All right. Um, I guess we go. Oh shit! Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Or maybe it was. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to go out and do some questing. Now, there isn't really a whole lot more for me to do around the base. Um, there is there is more interior decorating that I could do, uh, and we will be, you know, working on that some more um, as time goes on. But, uh, yeah, it's time for us to go out and do some questing. We're pretty well equipped with the Rising Fighter set. Uh, we got this really kick-ass um, axe that we got from killing um, the, the, the boss in the last episode. And, you know, one thing I really want to do, though, is I want to find a better bow because it is my ultimate plan, you know, to be primarily a ranged character, uh, but we still have this crappy bow. So um, let's go out and about and start working on that stuff. And uh, so our first objective for today is to here, let's get let's get our um, our comfort stuff topped off here uh, is to go do the spire. And one one of the things that that does is it gives us a. Um, uh, a, uh, what am I trying to, a fast travel point. Yeah, uh, to, so, you know, it helps us move around the map, and plus, you know, the fact that it's really high up in the air allows us to, um, go places more quickly. Oh, yeah. This, uh, is a much, much, um, stronger weapon here, for sure. Okay. So... I should, I probably actually shouldn't be doing too much gathering of stuff just because, um, you know, I want to be able to save room for everything we need to do. So the spire is, that's it right there. Okay, so that's where we need to get to. Uh, let's go across the bridge. Uh, does that guy have anything? Uh-uh. Get off of that. So, yeah, the bridge, uh, there's a couple things on the bridge you can loot and a few things you can break for metal scraps and things like that. This guy is lootable. One of the things I've noticed, too, is that um, chess and, you know, uh, this guy here and anything that you can loot resets. Um, I don't know if it resets as soon as you log out of the game or after a period of time. Uh, but all the chests that I've found um, are have now reset so I can go back and reloot them again, which is... Kind of interesting how that works. Okay. And then we're going to have our our friend down here. I still like to use the the cheap and easy wand here for anything, um, you know, like this that we can get rid of so we don't expend ammo or anything like that. Um, you can break, like, these metal, uh, what do they call these, J giblets, gibbets, something like that. Um, and get metal from those too, so it works out pretty good. Okay, let's go kill this dude. I'm sure he's back. Yep, there he is. Um, as I was editing the video... Oh, good, we got another one of these. Edit, editing the video uh, for episode three, I and, you know, just kind of looking at the boss fight. I mean, that boss fight was so easy, it was almost a joke, but I wasn't managing my stamina very well. That's one thing I noticed, so... I just have to kind of keep that in mind when we when we go and do more difficult fights. I don't think we need to go up that way for any reason. So let's head this direction. And uh, get up to the spire there. We'll have, um... I think we're going to need our... Yeah, our grappling hook to get up here. I, I actually haven't been up here yet. Um, like I, I've mentioned... I've seen a couple other YouTubers do this, but uh, this is my first time over here. Oh, shit. Don't be shooting at me, man. That's rude. All right. We got a guy down there. Let's uh, put an arrow in his ass. I'm just, you know, I'm using the cheapest bow and the cheapest arrows here, so it's not super effective. All right, how am I... Oh, look at that. Metal scraps. Nice. Let's get back over to here. I guess I just dropped down here to get down here. Okay. 
All right, dude, come on over here. Come and get your just desserts. Oh, shit. I didn't time the parry on that very well. Oh, good. We got another level. Um, I don't know. We, we need four points to get the double jump, though. Oh, we got it. Nice. Look at that. Okay. Everybody that I've watched on YouTube says you got to get this no matter what class you are because it's just so, um, so handy. Except for... Wait a minute. Did I not get it? How come it's not working? Uh, go back to skills. I did get it. Allows jumping a second time while airborne. Why is it, uh... Oh, okay, so that's interesting. If I if I tap the spacebar really fast, it just goes to the glider. But if I tap it a little slower, then he does the double jump. And then a triple a triple hit is what'll get it to, um, you know, activate the uh, glider. That's cool. Okay, we're getting used to all this new stuff. That's um, that's a rare item. So I think that means it's a, it's a blue, right? Um, all right, let's look at this because it's good to find this stuff because even if we don't end up using it, we can break it down for runes. Um, yeah, so this is a blue. It looks like it's probably a two-hander, though, I'll bet you. Yeah, it is. Pretty slow, but of course that's to be expected from a two-handed weapon. Hmm. Um, okay, let's go back here and look at this for a second. So, if we... That does 20 damage. Um, if we upgraded this, we would add... It, we'd make it a total of 31 points of damage if we upgraded all the way. Hmm. We'll have to think about that, but I'm not really planning on doing two-handed in this playthrough. Um, yeah. So we'll see, but we could probably get a whole mess of runes from this if we if we broke it down. Um, does it tell us? Oh yeah, we would get 27 runes if we broke this down. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to it for the moment. Most likely, I'll end up breaking it down, but we'll see. And actually, we don't really need this. I mean, it does have a little bit better blunt, but this has so much better otherwise. So why don't we put the... Uh, why don't we put... Wait, where the hell did it go? Uh... Oh, no, did I accidentally delete that? <laughs> oh, crap! I think I'm... I must have accidentally deleted that. Son of a... Because I... I don't see it. Hold on. Let me go back and look at the footage. I sure as hell did. Oh, man. What a numbskull move. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. I, I, I can't explain why I did it, but I did it. Oh, shit. Okay, well, we just lost 27 runes there, but it, it's probably not going to matter in the long run. Still very much sucks, though. Okay. Let's break this and see if we can get some metal from it. Yep, yeah, looks like we did get a little bit of scrap metal, except for where the hell did it go? Oh, here we go. Two metal scraps. Cool. All right, let's read this. Um, imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan stone, cold finger bones. The mark of a hidden doom. The stairs inside lead into darkness. Torch in your hand, you slip down into uncertainty, into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it the family jewels? Heirlooms from faraway shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of your empire. The cornerstone to the, of a fortress raised from spilled blood. Sounds good? I know the rough location if you take up the search. Gareth, I'll split the goods. Deal? Okay, so I guess that's just leading us to a, a new side quest there, maybe? Um, here's some more metal up there. Yeah, good lord, I can't believe I deleted that. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to be, you know, ultra careful with stuff like that. So, any hoozle, uh, nothing we can do about it, so no sense in pissing and moaning, let's just move on. 
Uh, don't see anything up here. Got a bed and a couple of barrels. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I know. That sucks, though, man. I'm just so irritated that that happened. Uh, okay. Dried fur. That's new. Okay, cool. I'm sure we're going to need that for, you know, maybe better armor sets later on or something. Is there anything up here on the second? We were already up at the highest one. Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. All right, so we've got an upper path, which is the one I think we need to take to get to the spire, and a lower path. All right, we'll have to we'll have to do the lower path another day. Um, very cool though. There's a bunch of um, flintstone. I, I always want to call that cobblestone, but it's flintstone. There's something over here. A note, I think. And a dead guy. Okay. Misfortune sh strikes like lightning. The lightning sets the skies ablaze. It's my only source of light since the fur since the fire was doused by this merciless downpour. Of course, I had seen the clouds gather before I left to search the hidden tomb. I had tasted the threat in the breeze. Despite the warning signs, he pushed me to venture forth. You can wait out the storm, but the water may smother our treasure in mud. Can you bear to see our empire wash away, Gareth? Oh, that silver-tongued devil. The tomb is close by, but wind and rain bar me from venturing further. These creaking trees scarcely shelter me, so I'll surely be soaked. The text ends abruptly. All right, so I guess there's some kind of tomb nearby we're going to have to go check out. Um, let's go look at this thing real quick and see if there's anything here. Yeah, see, that double jump is just amazing. Okay, I didn't see anything up there. Maybe this leads to the hidden tomb? Or does it actually show up on our map? Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we know what's there, but I, again, I want to focus on doing the tower first. And then, you know, depending upon how our time goes, we might have time to do something else. We'll see. My last two episodes have been a little bit longer than I kind of want them to be, so I don't want to get in the habit of doing that too much. Here's some corn. Anything back here? It sure looks like a place where there could be something. Ancient Spire Springlands. Nice. This is so cool looking, man. Just the whole architecture and everything. Um, okay, so let's read this. These spires stretch to the firmament and deny entry to those who are unworthy. The ancient breed enters, but I never see them leave. I have two theories. Either the ancient spires are somehow connected to one another and the silent ones travel between them as they please, or two, the ancient spires serve as a burial site similar to the flame shrine. The ancients store all knowledge of the land and the flame here when they leave the mortal plane. One way or another, I cannot enter. When I step on the ornate plate, nothing occurs. What a shame, Balthazar. All right, cool. We got a potion here. And um, I happen to know from Again, watching some other YouTubers that uh, you can get a lot of good resources from this place if you, you know, if you break all the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, pottery and stuff that's, you know, that's around. I'm just kind of looking to see if there's any hidden secrets or anything like that around the corner here. Okay, let's go on in here. Um, we have a checkpoint, which is great. And let's run out here real quick. So yeah, this this kind of stuff. Um, one of the things I believe we can get from some of these is salt, which uh, I believe will come into play later on, probably for like tanning hides and stuff like that. Or maybe for alchemy. It looks like that's all there is out here. Nothing out of that guy. There we go. Salt. Nice. Okay, cool. Little wax. 
Bullock's action there. Right, I think that's it for that area. One more courtyard out here we'll check. We got a thingy and a mana potion. That's the first time I've seen one of those. Very cool. Some water. Oh wow, this is like really taking my my axe down. It's durability. Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do is let's set up a, a flame shrine here so I can fast travel back to the base and just prepare my stuff really quick. Um, so I'll do that and I'll meet you guys back here. All right, guys, we're back and ready to go up to the next level. Got everything repaired, spent the night, got our buffs all topped off. What's that? Bone meal, spectral shield. Oh, cool, okay. We'll have to check that out when we get back. Uh, all right, what do we got going on here? Let's break all of these. Survival, uh, shroud survival flask, another mana potion. Yeah, definitely worth taking the time to break those, but man, it does really kind of screw my uh, my axe up. Maybe I should use like the sword or something for breaking things. All right, so we have a button that we have to press there, which I think will open that door maybe. Yep. Okay, and then we have a chest. Oh, nice. Okay, let's let's try not to uh, delete this this time. All right, so that'll take the place of... That is actually a really nice wand. And it does fire damage, too. Um, so that'll take the place of this. Can we... Yeah. Okay, we... I am going to delete this. There's no reason to keep it. Um, to, you know, to save a slot there. Oh, wow, we got a metal plate, too. That's cool. Nifty. All right, so... Uh, I guess that was the only reason to open that room. Got a balcony out here. Okay, I guess we go up, up this way. Let's break these. Just got water out of those. Okay. Um, is that something right there? Uh -uh. Looks like we grapple. And open that up. Break these guys. Got some honeycomb or wax, I guess. Wow, we're already pretty high up here. That is so cool looking. Okay, so we came from that direction. Uh, looks like we go over there. Oh no, we already went this way. Silly bee. Okay, so we came through here. Uh, yeah, this is the way we have to go. Um, do we just do that? Yep, okay. That's the new one. No, 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 not that. This. More. Oh, wow. This is the place to get Shroud Survival Flask. My goodness. Those are going to come in handy. Another mana potion. Some bone meal. Um, more metal sheets. Nice. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, the loot in this place is great. Definitely worth taking the time, like I said, to 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 break this stuff for sure. Uh, okay, so that's where we get out, and I think we already went over here. All right, let's go to the next level. OK, 
Okay. Let's get this stuff broken. Hmm, there's some lava down there. Okay, so yeah, man, we got uh, we got two more metal sheets out of that, some more bone meal. Uh, we're up to five shroud survival flasks now, and three mana and two salt. It's good stuff. Okay, so let's make sure we got full stamina. And I don't know, do we go this way? No, I don't remember. Like I said, I've watched a couple other people do this, but this is my first time, so. Where does this go? Is that the way up to the next level? Or did we come? No, I don't think we came through that way or I would have come out here and bro busted this. Okay, but we want to get that. I think it is, but we want to get that door open because there must be some something in there. Um, so let's get these pots broken first. Okay, let's go double jump back up there. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. That is a very handy skill to have. Okay, we got a button there. Oh man, look at all these pots to break. Okay, so we should be able to just do this. We have to do it higher. Hmm, maybe that doesn't work. Maybe we have to use this. Yeah. Has to be a physical thing. There's a new bow. Nice. Finally. Okay. Let's get rid of this piece of crap. This is a common, so we can upgrade it once for fire magic. And it has 10 power, so it's already too better even without any upgrades. Draw speed is the same costs a little bit of stamina but it's got a lot more durability and more arrow speed too okay cool uh this yeah let's we don't need this anymore so let's just delete it excellent okay cool it's nice to finally find a an upgrade for our bow um i guess that's all we got to do out, up here right i'm assuming that that probably um Whoops. <laughs> that probably opened the... Oh, there's more stuff down here. Actually, it's a good thing we fell down here, huh? Uh, hopefully open that door that we need needed open. By going up and doing all that. A wisp of light potion. What does that do? Uh... An, Im an imprisoned wisp of light opening the flask releases a glowing wisp that lights the darkness. Ah, nice. Okay, cool. First time I've seen that. Oh, this is that door. Right? Yeah. Yep, that's the door. Okay. Just basically just a shortcut for us. Ooh, spiky spikes. Now yeah, look how high up we are. That's awesome. All right. Um. I guess we go. Oh shit! Nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Or maybe it was. <laughs> I can't believe we didn't get hurt doing that. This door open too? They all open. Um, there was something else in here though. I 
don't I, I don't see a reason for why we would go in there but let's go in there anyway Wait, why would we go in here there's nothing in here hmm, maybe it's just a a stop off point that's probably what it is okay so we can either go left or right but to order uh, open that door we need to find two buttons um, is that like a big ass? Oh, our sword's broken. Okay, so let's replace this with this. Okay, there's a place to climb up. More spiky spikes. And that's the first button. wonder if there's something behind that pillar. Yep, sure enough, look at that. Some flint arrows. Cool. So yeah, that got the one button done there. Um, can we... I don't know if we can jump down there uh, without taking damage, so let's get on this. It's just a little bit far down, I think. Oh, we're we going to try and break this. That looks more like a, a stone thingy than a pot, so yeah, let's just not worry about that. Okay, so now we gotta find the other button, so let's go this direction. Oh, lava. Lava room. That must be the way out. But obviously, there's more stuff. Oh yeah, we gotta get the other button. That's what we gotta do. Okay. Alright, so. That's a fairly long climb. We don't want we wanna make sure we don't run out of stamina. In fact, speaking of which, I should have already just done this. Uh, to begin with, but, um, half of these buffs going, there's no reason not to. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so, uh, oh, you stop climbing for a minute. There's the button. Okay. That opens that other room. Nice. And here we go. Wait, what's that? Oh, I thought that was something lying on the ground. What do we get here? Ooh, legendary. Hot damn. Okay. Well, this definitely is going to take the place of the club. Um, so right now that does 17 damage. This does 21 damage with no upgrades, and we can do five upgrades on it. Damn, son, that is a nice upgrade. Okay, so let's put that there. Is this... Wait, is this a two... Oh, it's a two-hander. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, that explains why it's so powerful, then. Okay. Um. Well, again, I mean, if nothing else, we can break it down for runes. Uh, well, yeah, well, we and we can use it to break stuff, too. We might as well, because the other club's going down. All right, I think we're ready to... Head out here. We already broke stuff out here. Here we go. Ancient Spire, Springland's fast travel. I think we made it to the top, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of wax out of that one.
commune with the flame. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Embervale. Venture fork child, the land must be reclaimed. Fantastic. Okay, so we got a spark for that, right? Did we get a spark for that? Uh, oh, maybe we didn't. Okay. I guess it just opened the, the fast travel thing. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So now we can fast travel to here anytime we want, and then we can glide off of here to go to our next location, which is just a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Um, let's break all the pottery here. We, you know, we, we're coming out of this place with some really decent resources. Um, plus we got, you know, a nice bow upgrade. We got this legendary two-hander. Um, which, if we need to, we can melt down for, for runes. But it, it actually is a pretty good tool for breaking stuff. So, you know, we can hang on to it for that reason alone. Cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. I'm going to go back to the base, drop stuff off, get repaired, and then we'll start, start up right with the next episode and go uh, keep working on quests because that's... Oh, there's some salt over here. So that's really what we need to do. So where is our base? That's kind of a cool-looking area down there. Um, I have to figure out which side of the map our base is on. I don't think it's that side. Yeah, there it is. It's over there because there, there's the, uh, the Braylon Bridge. Yep, we can we can see our little villa house way over there. That is cool. All right, you guys. Well, yeah, like I said, um, we're gonna wrap things up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in. No oh, boy, I'm gonna maybe potentially run out of stamina here. Uh, can. Oh, you can stare. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I should have checked to make sure I had enough stand before I jumped off that thing. But we're, we're good. Um, so, yeah. I just completely screwed up my outro, so see ya.